Hey, what's up everyone? This is Stefan from projectlifemastery.com and today I'm gonna to show you guys my morning ritual. I'm gonna walk you through the exact morning routine that I do every single day to make sure that I optimize myself so that I can perform at my absolute best every single day. I'm a big believer and fan of rituals. I believe that how you start the day is how you end the day and that if you wanna get the most out of the day, you gotta spend the first part of the morning to take care of you. You gotta make yourself a priority. You gotta do something every day, I believe, for your mind, your body, and your spirit. And so I'm gonna show you guys the ritual that I have. I've actually got a checklist that I follow every day and I'm gonna walk you guys through each of them step by step by step and actually demonstrate it for you guys as well. And I believe that you know rituals has been one of the keys to my success. It's what's allowed me to transform every area of my life because if you just do something once in a while, then you're not gonna change. It's what you do consistently every day. Now I believe that spending the first part of your day, that morning, is the best time to condition yourself, to condition your mindset, your belief systems, uh, to, to take care of your health and your body. There's certain things that you do every day that's gonna lead to an abundance of energy. It's gonna lead to you being in better shape. You know, if you wake up every day reactive, like most people do, and they're rushing around, they're stressed, they're hitting the snooze button, um, you know, they're gonna have their coffee, which I have no idea why they need that after they slept eight hours and they're still tired. You know, you're supposed to have the most energy when you wake up, but people need their coffee. Well, this here is my coffee. This here is my natural boost of energy that I get that allows me to get the most out of the day. A lot of people, they focus on, you know, watching the news and the newspaper and they're putting negative stuff in their mind, um, they're just starting off the day in a negative way. They got anxiety, they got stress um, about their life or about their day and I believe that a ritual is really what can change that for you. Starting off the day in an empowering way, not being reactive but being proactive. Um, and so it's, I've been doing these rituals since I was 17 years old. Changed my life in so many ways. I was shy, I was depressed, I was very insecure but I spent the first part of my day just changing my beliefs, conditioning again and again. It's almost like you go to the gym to work out and you train your body so you can get bigger muscles or you can lose fat. You've also got to train your brain every day. You've got to train your emotions every day. You've got to train your spiritual muscles every day. And so I put um, a lot into this. I kind of treat myself like a high performance athlete. If I want to get the most out of myself, I've got to have rituals that's going to allow me to do it. So I'm going to walk you guys through everything step by step. It's going to go pretty in depth and I'm going to go through this checklist and I like to have a checklist so that I can visually measure my progress as time goes on. You know, I've often, you know, again, if you don't have a plan for your life, if you don't have a plan, you're just kind of going about your day meaninglessly, then you're not going to get the most out of it. In the same way, if you go to the gym and you just kind of, you don't know what you're doing, you know, you, you, you're just picking up weights and you don't know the, the, the weights that you picked up last, last time, and you're not really following anything, you're not going to get that great results. So I like to have a plan. I like to write it out. Um, I like to either have this on my whiteboard in my office, I can see it every day, or I print this out, but I, I like to have something visual that I can check the box every day and make sure I'm being consistent with the rituals that I have for myself. Um, I've had things before on a file on a computer, but it's too hard to see it. I like to print it out and see it every day. I'll also mention that my ritual um, is actually fairly long and pretty in depth. Um, and I understand some people don't have as much time as I have. You know, I've got an online business, I've got freedom, you know, I set my own schedule and whatnot. So I can understand it can be a little bit more challenging when you have a job, you know, whatnot. You might have to wake up earlier to do some of this, but I actually have a 15 minute ritual, I've got a 30 minute ritual, and then I got an hour ritual, and I've also got rituals that even last two hours or more depending on you know what I've got going on. Whether I've basically, I've, if I'm giving a speech that day, then I'll have rituals that will help prepare me for that. Um, you know, working out sometimes takes you know an hour to work out at the gym along with the other stuff that I do. So you don't have to copy what I'm doing, I'm just providing different options for you and what I do so that you guys can see that for yourself. Okay, number one, I usually sleep about seven to eight hours, okay? I'm a big fan of making sure you get good quality sleep. I've done other videos on how to hack and optimize your sleep. Wake up, usually actually the, the, the sun wakes me up. It's one of the amazing things about living in an apartment with a lot of natural light. So light wakes me up in the morning. Um, first thing that I do guys, first thing right out the gate, it sounds so simple but it's so important, is I smile. Okay, I smile. And I can't think of a better way to start the day than smiling. Starting off the day, with a sense of gratitude and appreciation because you can never take a day of your life for granted. Every day is a gift. There's a lot of people out there that don't have the same gift. 
and you know they, they don't have life anymore and we have that we've got to cherish that we've got to appreciate it and oftentimes people start off the day they wake up and you know, they're exhausted and they're tired and they're kind of you know trying to get the day started in such a negative way and to be honest with you guys I don't always feel happy or positive every day in the morning but by training myself to smile I'm setting the president for the rest of the day I'm setting off the day in a positive way an empowering way and the funny thing is just by smiling and just spending you know just as you're going to the bathroom and as you're brushing your teeth and as you're washing your face just putting a smile on your face um, you know, there's been a lot of studies that show that smiling biochemically changes how you feel. Your body releases, you know, endorphins and whatnot, and it gives you energy, makes you feel better. In fact, there's been a lot of studies that have been done where they'll take people that are clinically depressed and they'll just have them smile for 30 minutes a day in front of the mirror, and it's been proven to actually help alleviate a lot of the depression that they have. So, smiling, guys first thing that you should do the moment you wake up smile feel grateful feel appreciative for the day after that I go to the bathroom you know I brush my teeth I wash my face all that standard stuff that often people do number two is I go upstairs and I'll walk with you guys right now I'm gonna walk you guys through this ritual okay uh, I go upstairs and I drink water because after you've been sleeping for eight hours or however many hours your body is dehydrated it, the, the cells are craving water so that's one of the first things that I do. Um, by drinking water, you're going to kickstart your metabolism. You're going to get energy from that immediately. You're going to hydrate your cells. Um, oftentimes, you're not going to you know, crave coffee or sugary foods and donuts and all that stuff that people put in their body, which is not starting off the day in an empowering way, in my opinion. So I come up here. This is my kitchen. Uh, so right here, I've got my water ionizer that I use and turn it on. Talks, she talks to you, which is nice. Um, this produces alkaline water. Uh, a lot of debate about acid alkaline water. It's one of the benefits from it, but also microclusters the water molecules so that you super hydrate your cells. Turns the water into an antioxidant. Uh, the water basically goes through 12 plates, 12 titanium plates that are double dipped in platinum which pick up an electrical charge just like in the same way that when water um, goes, it comes from the clouds and goes on the mountains and it starts going through the, you know, the rocks and minerals and it picks up an electrical charge. This machine does the same thing and so I usually start off my day drinking high quality filtered ionized water, usually 9.5 alkaline and I drink this whole bottle guys. This bottle says abundance on it. Another little subtle reminder for myself but um, I drink this whole bottle. Okay. Again, your body's dehydrated and needs water, and ideally, really high quality water. Okay? So I drink this. I'm not going to drink the whole bottle for you guys in this video, but I could use a drink of water. Okay, next thing that I do is I start taking a few of my supplements. Okay? Um, so, one supplement that I take. You guys will see a lot of booze and stuff in my, my fridge. I actually don't drink alcohol very often. I often put on parties and whatnot and people leave alcohol here. Uh, but anyways, this is apple cider vinegar. So I usually take a shot of this. Um, really great for you. A lot of benefits. You, can, you guys can look up the benefits. Doesn't taste that great, but um, start off with that. Uh, a lot of supplements that I take, I've done videos where I go more in depth in the supplements that I take, but usually the ones I take first thing in the morning on an empty stomach are enzymes, number one. So I usually take Masszymes, which uh, by Bioptimizers, my friend Wade Lightheart, I've interviewed him and I've been taking these for years, a lot of great benefits. But when you take enzymes on an empty stomach, you get um, a number of different healing benefits, building up your enzymatic reserve in your body, a lot of good benefits. I'll link to the, some of the stuff that I mentioned. You also want to take enzymes with your meals too to help digest it, especially as cooked or processed. But enzymes always on an empty stomach. Um, a lot of these meals I take throughout the, uh, or a lot of these supplements I take throughout the day because I, different meals that I have and whatnot, and some are better, better on empty stomach versus full stomach. Um, but other ones I take are vitamin B12, um, vitamin D3, uh, especially during the winter months, not getting as much sunlight. Um, there's a number, number of other ones, uh, but you know, I've, do, I've done other videos on supplements, but I make sure I do that because 
you know, I talk about mind, body, spirit. This is the body element. You want to check the box. Do something every day for your body. Drinking water, supplements, just those little habits. It takes hardly any time whatsoever, but what that does is over time, that's going to ensure that I'm healthy. It's going to ensure that I have energy for the day and, and, and I don't need to depend upon caffeines and other products like that as a source of energy. So things like that, you know, you take supplements, you drink water, you might not notice immediate benefit, but it gives you the peace of mind that you're doing the right things that over time, your body will heal itself, your body will have more energy, it will recover, and it'll be optimized for optimal performance. All right guys, so now we're gonna go back downstairs to my bedroom, okay? And I'll show you guys the next part of my ritual. Um, a few things that I do here with um, my mindset and, and also my spirit as well that I'll walk you guys through. And there's more that I do for my body. I always recommend a, a good ritual consists of mind, body, spirit. At least one thing, but if you can do more, then that's more ideal. And as part of my, I've got a course called Morning Ritual Mastery that goes into over seven days how to create a ritual for yourself that's unique and customized for yourself that goes into a lot of the stuff that I'm sharing with you. Okay, so let's head on down. All right, guys, so we're back here in my bedroom, and the next part of my ritual is I like to read. I like to spend at least 10 minutes in the morning reading a good book. And here I've got my Kindle, um, which I like to read books on. I used to have a lot of paperback books. They're all in boxes now. I like to use a Kindle. It's a lot easier and simpler. Um, but I, I spend at least 10 minutes a day reading, or at least read 10 pages a day of a good book. If you read just 10 pages a day, then over a month, that's 300 pages, which is a book a month. Over the course of a year, that's 12 books a year. That's just the bare minimum that I like to do. But you know, a lot of people they start off their day with social media and their you know their addictions that they have of checking their Facebook and email. And I think that's a horrible way to start the day. I think you should do that after you've done an empowering ritual like this because I don't know about you, the moment I check my email, all of a sudden there's all these demands from other people. There's this in my business and this employee or this problem or challenge, I got this fire I've got to put out. And immediately what happens is you get stressed. Immediately what happens is you get some anxiety. And then once you've read those emails, now you've got to put out those fires. Now you've got to, you know, Put your attention and focus on work, um, and, and this is not the best way to do it. So I like to feed my mind with positivity. I like to learn first thing in the morning and put some good stuff in. I avoid the news and, and reading what, all the challenges and problems going on in the world because that's going to create some stress and some anxiety as well. I still do those things, but it's more later in the day. And what I found is that when you take care of your mind first thing in the morning, then all of a sudden, how you deal with challenges for the day is totally different. You know, if I, I know it's for myself when I don't do a ritual, I might have challenges that happen for the day and it'll affect me. I get stressed a lot more easy uh, versus when I take care of my mindset, these things just bounce off of me. They don't affect me because I'm solid. I'm, I'm strong. I've taken care of my mindset, my mind, body, and spirit, and so things don't affect me as much. So what I do is I take my Kindle here. I, I like to do my reading here in this chair. Uh, so, you know, I'll read maybe 10 minutes, 10 pages of a good book. Um, also here what I've got is I got the five minute journal. So I also write in here and, and this is great. i um, big fan of this because it's a simple five minute process that allows you to focus on the right things for your day. So for example, you put in three things that you're grateful for. What would make today great? You put in three things for that. You put in a daily affirmation that you have, and then also has an evening portion as well where you ask yourself three amazing things that happened today, you journal that, and how could I have made today better? So great little five minute process, a bare minimum that you guys could do. Um, I've also got here the Productivity Planner by the same company. Um, similar process, uh, a good way to plan out the day. It takes about five minutes, not even that, but you put in what is the most important task for the day, what are the secondary uh, tasks uh, of importance, additional tasks, your productivity score for the day, and they use the Pomodoro uh, technique uh, for that, which is great. And then for those of you that maybe are Christian or more spiritual, this is for the spirit. I got my Christian gratitude journal as well um, that I also, also use uh, as well. So I'll spend maybe uh, 10 minutes uh, doing that, maybe a little bit longer. Here next, I've got my PEMF mat, which stands for Pulsed Electromagnetic Field or Frequencies. And by laying on this, it has copper coils which radiate and create pulsed electromagnetic fields that have a lot of great health benefits. So 
there's a lot of benefits to PEMS. You guys can look it up. I'm not gonna explain it all here, but this is actually a, a device that's used by NASA to help the astronauts when they go into space. Because a lot of astronauts, we leave Earth's magnetic field. Planet Earth is surrounded by electromagnetic field. There's a North Pole and a South Pole. It's like a magnet. And when they go into space, they're away from that. And it affects your bone density, it affects your energy, your sleep, all these different things. And there's been a lot of studies and science behind this. So I lay on this for at least 10 minutes and I do my meditation on it. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video here on my YouTube channel of me demonstrating and showing a lot of my morning ritual. If you guys wanna watch the full version that I have, which goes a lot more in depth, of all the rituals that I do and I explain it, I demonstrate, I show it, it's a lot more in depth covering all of that, then join Morning Ritual Mastery. Uh, I've got a Morning Ritual Mastery program at morningritualmastery.com. I'll have a link below. Head on over to that website, invest in that course. On I think day five or six, you're gonna get the full version of my morning ritual where I walk you guys through everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little preview and just kind of me walking you guys through a lot of this stuff. But if you guys want the full version in depth, morning ritual mastery, create that ritual over seven days, okay? But more importantly, what that program will teach you is how to make it last. Because anybody can do a ritual once in a while. Anybody can do something for a week or two weeks or a few days or whatever. But the key is, is this something that's gonna be lasting in your life? And is it really gonna allow you to condition yourself and create who you really wanna be? Rituals has been the key to my success, the life that I've been able to create, and I wanna share that with you guys and go more in depth with it. So morningritualmastery.com. Otherwise, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys again soon. Take care.